Shabayev, a, a fiery figure, and Mizutani very relaxed. Interesting to see here the contrast in personalities and how that is then portrayed in the match. Shabayev with first blood here, taking a two-point lead. Really, really strong over the table. Mr. Tani will have to push him back if he's going to win a few points. Nice little view there of our comfy seats in the cavern. I had a seat over there for five minutes and I was almost off for a snooze earlier. Interesting to see. In round one, Mitsutani, a little bit more aggressive than we've seen him previously. Let's see if he can start being a little bit more aggressive here. Let's 4 0 down at the minute. Four, one. I think with Shabayev's game style, he likes when players push his serves back. He serves a lot of no spin serves. When players get round One, the likes of Dmitry Ovcharov, when he looks to come round and backhand flick, that's when Shabayev struggles a little bit more. So interesting here, if the Japanese player will be able to employ some of those tactics as well. See the tactic clear in Shabayev. Trying to play aggressive over the table. A straight off a Mitsutani forehand. Five this is three. his game. He will implement, implement it throughout the match. Six, three. Fast play and an apology from the Russian. Nice mix of spin and speed from both players there. Mizutani, such a wonderful hand, and especially in his backhand corner, the way he's able to just take the pace off the ball. We know Shabayev doesn't shy away from a game. Impressive display in round one, taking on Harimoto, the young pup. And when Shabayev gets on a run like this, really tough to stop. And he gets in with his forehand so often. Look at that leg strength there, trying to stay low. Shabayev means business here, a five point lead. Definitely being the aggressive of the two. So it opens up a six point lead here. Six game points. Five, ten. This will be quite worrying for Team Pearson. It was Mitsutani that added three points to two against Germany's Team Obo the last time this team met. at the end of the rally there Mizutani he did really well to get some of those big shots back from the Russian well the momentum was fully with Shabayev at that point staying a little bit closer than Mizutani not much but still a little bit to make a difference Eleven, seven. First game. massive first set there for Mace. 
Russia's top player. And when he's linking with backhand and forehand like that, massive appreciation. He gets himself pumped up. When he's feeling it, he's really on. Confirmation there. Yes. Very comfortable. 11 points to seven lead for Shabayev, taking this first set. And Team Mays looking very comfortable as we are halfway through this team match. June just hasn't really got started here. It's hard to deal with the power from Shabayev. Look at that, fully extending over the table. He's a tall figure, but he fully gets down low and follows through. Two, one. Interesting here to see the little difference in technique. Jun Mitsutani's forehand a little bit tighter to the body, while Shabayev's is a lot longer, but he fully extends his arm out. Covering more area of the table as well. One, three. That's always what's so fascinating about any sport. Contrast in styles. You look at tennis, the contrast between Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal, and that's what makes sport so watchable. like in tennis as well with the different surfaces table tennis has the different brand of ball every ball different the bounce and the trajectory but the players do adapt and at this event we're very fortunate to have our very own t2 ball given to us won the korean open with the new ball Suits him perfectly. Two, three, six. And he is yet to come up in this match. He will be our final men's match in this team selection. Two, seven, three. Interesting there. Just a few points before this. A little signal from Michael Mayes to Shabayev to calm down a little bit. And don't get too carried away. As we know, he's very fiery. We can overtake him sometimes. Wonderful table tennis here. The T2 cavern. Look how this rally develops. Both players going at it. This is what we want to see. Look how low Shabayev is getting to the ground. Definitely one of the players that gets the lowest out of the men's game for sure. Mizutani feeling a little bit uncomfortable there. Normally he would just fish and just lob that ball on, feeling rushed. But he can't really do that here. Shabayev has too much power. He needs to attack back. He needs to get into a better position. You see that first three stroke percentage start there. 65-35 in the way of Shabayev. He really is motoring on. And that evidence is backed up with the stats. Two, ten, four. Look at this six point lead. More game points then for Russia's finest. Two, eleven, and there it is. Second Extremely game. quick second game as well. I think Best even three. Michael Mays, he's seen a lot of things in his time, but I think even he is a little bit surprised with this scoreline. As he rises off his chair. Oh, Shabayev taking into a banana here. That's right, mate. You get more potassium into you. And there we go. 11 7 and 11 4. Another turn up for the books. Otherwise, it's correct. You play, you can, if you wait, the receipt. Feng Tian Wei, look at her, just warming up the body. Getting a good solid 10 or 15 minute practice in. 
We had the pleasure of watching her practice against Timo Ball earlier. Great to see these players mixing not only men and women, but European and Asian as well. Amazing that in the first couple of sets, very short games, less than five minutes, four minutes 51 for the first game, four minutes 41, 10 seconds quicker for the second game. Who would believe that? I have really making use of the T2 rules of playing quicker. Normally we see him on the World Tour circuit, taking his time, pausing before the other person serves, but here he's definitely motoring on. One, four. For those of you wondering what the conditions are really like down here courtside, it's a lot quicker in here in this cavern than it is on the world tour stage and this could also be helping Shabayev to hit some winners normally it feels like you're hitting through treacle on the world tour not sure if anyone's ever hit a winner on the world tour so different here in the t2 cavern i think the only person that might is england paul drinkle the way he played earlier that man that doesn't block again feels here that Mizutani not able to generate as much spin as he would like. Shabayev getting on top of three or four big reloops so far. Five, four. Again with the change from celluloid to plastic. It has hampered Mizutani's game a little bit. He used to play with heavy, heavy spin. It's a lot more difficult now for him to create as much as what he did. Look at the points won on serve. Shabayev simply dominant. Lovely little close up action for you guys at home. So many camera angles here to choose from. There's our wonderful T2 ball. Been picked up from Mizutani and hoisted over the other side of the net. And here we go. Scrappy little point there, but we can see how fiery Shabayev is. Doesn't matter what it is, he'll show the house down. Five, six. That's a better link up from the Japanese player. Linking serve to the first ball. And when you're doing that, you always feel comfortable. Oh. Lovely little Seven, touch five. there from the Japanese player. Just not enough to impact Shabayev. Shabayev playing with still a lot of power. Seven, five. Wonderful slow mo there. Mizutani trying to get the ball back. Seven, six. Let's see if he can try and hang in this one. We've only got 11 minutes of our allocated 24 left. Even in receive, Shubayev, 15 to 10 up. Dominant in all areas at present. Six, eight. Michael Mee is on his feet for his player. This is a real turnaround from round one. Mee is his team nine to three against Pearson. And we know the score of the round one match was 14-12 to Pearson. Time out there called by Time Michael Mays. One minute. Clever there. Trying to keep the lead to get an extra point in the table. 
but no sing. What? Eight, seven, a lot of no, coaches ten, seven, now will matter. just think every ball. decide just play game. how their player is going to play the next point. Do you play aggressively? Do you go for one of your set plays? That's possibly what person back, yeah. is trying okay. to relate to the Japanese oh, star yes, right now. Assistant umpire there, working hard. Go! Every Nine, time after the, the timeout, it seems to be Shabayev that wins that next point. And that's rather deflating if you're on the end of that. Nip and tuck as we get close to seeing who's going to win this third set. Shabayev knows that he's on the verge of a humongous win here. Good old push to push. You would have appreciated that in many of your clubs back home. Shabayev just taking a little bit longer on the time. Oh. Pretty sure there's over the time limit there. Very clever tactic indeed. Oh, Nine. net cord there. But as we know, luck does favor the brave and the Russian has been very brave in this match. service delivery now. Well played, Jun Mizutani. No As the referee screams there, no juice, it's sudden death. Did well there to compose himself, did Mizutani. An advantage now for Shabayev. He has the serve. Oh, and Shabayev just hitting the edge of the racket. Off the edge of the table. Sometimes you see fingers being lost in those occasions. Whoa. Look what I meant to June Mitsutani though. They're getting a point on the board. How crucial it is for Team Pearson now try and bridge this gap from 9-4 down. We've seen yes. in match round one, a few team scores where it looked helpless really. Five, six, seven points down, but then when the likes of Ding Ning stepped up and won five sets to nil, it's amazing how matches can change so, so quickly. So here we go. It's the Japanese star. He's gonna start us off. A little bit of controversy there. Shabayev just saying, if you want, I can change my racket. I've damaged it. Just showing Winnie Che there. Just need confirmation from the lead umpire coming in. This will give June Mitsutani a little bit of time to think. Fourth set. So you can scuff the racket, but you can't really break the rubber surface and I think that's what's happened here. Timo Ball just running around the corner at the speed of light trying to retrieve Shabayev's short other racket. It looks like we're taking a lot of time here but don't worry folks the clock has stopped you will not be missing any action. A little bit of extra advice there from Jorgen Persson. Must be lovely to have such an experienced man on the team, especially for Jun Mitsutani, who trails now two to one. Two. Referee just inspecting racket Fuck number it. two. Mitsutani to serve. Love all. Oh. 
Oh, this racket's even better than the first one. <laughs> Definitely a little bit of a quicker racket. Don't know if Shabayev needs any more power. He's battling out there, is Shabayev. It's very tough when you damage a racket to then go to another one. It's very difficult to have identical rackets. Team May is just inspecting, inspecting the other racket by Timo Ball's face. I'm pretty sure he thought he could have played with it. Wasn't too happy with that decision. noticeably quicker I think and, and this is a shame if this actually spoils the outcome of the match Shabayev to be honest was the better player and if he ends up now losing three sets to two on a poor refereeing decision then that's not so good His arm speed just a little bit decreasing there to do with the different racket. Creating a lot more spin, less power, or else the ball will soar off. Five, three. So with five minutes to go, we could find ourselves at two games all and very close to a kill zone game as well. It's fascinating the way that these matches are so closely contested. That was absolutely massive there from June Mitsutani. Not easy to put a ball away at that height. We usually find him in the defensive position. Never really see Shabayev in that row. Head off for Mitsutani though. Yeah, it's just good stuff all round. Great table tennis from two great players. An appreciation from Michael Mays, of course. Five, six. Clock, six, all. If in doubt, give it a clout, as Paul Drinkle would say. Seems to have oiled that backhand the last couple of rallies, Shabayev. Definitely taking some notes last week from Paul Drinkle. He got the better of him in the Australian Open. Let's six, seven. Looks like we may get to enter the kill zone if Shabayev wraps up this game. Two minutes, 38 seconds left. It's wonderful from Shabayev. He really is playing so well. You've got ball. You've got Maze, you've got everyone standing up there in appreciation. Nine, six. Whoa. 
Lovely little change of direction there. The angle he created deep into Mitsutani's forehand, opened up the whole table. Here we'll see it again. Look at this, and then straight down the line. So four game points, and these would be match points. And there we go. We have it. It's three games to one. Shabayev. And we've entered the kill zone, everyone. For those of you that are just tuning in now, the kill zone is first to five points, a shortened game, an even more exciting game than the ones up to 11. Can you believe that? Absolutely superb, Gavin. Of course, we've got the benefit of the no clock in the kill zone. The players can take their time and kill I can bet game. you anything that Shabaya will be taking his time in every single point. First Moving back points. to his world tour atmosphere. Love well, they can take their time, but it's still really 15 seconds between each point, and we'll see if the referee will get out one or two yellow cards. So this is a big one for Team Person. 4-10 down. I really feel like they need this one. Shabayev, all credit to him. He's made that second racket work. A lot of players would have just fallen apart there. <laughs> Michael Mayes One, playing every shot with his player. The reaction on his face and in his body is absolute delight. For all we know, this is a, a frying pan with a couple of rubbers on it. But nobody's told Shabai of that. <laughs> Two, oh. Of course, Shabai has used a timeout. Only one per player. Two important serves to come for the Russian. Oh. Stepped round so well there, didn't he? That's definitely a good miss though. That tactic has worked really well over this game. Playing deep and wide into Mitsutani's foreign, as you'll see here, and then switching up the line. High risk, but who told Shabai of that? I don't think anyone did. Another big shout, another lovely change of direction, caressing that ball right into the middle to Shabayev. I have an integral person in the Team Maze camp. Did so well in round one. Definitely wants this a thousand dollar bonus here though. And he's got it. He's doing so well as a number three in the team here. This is the beauty of T2 though. All the players play each other. The number three in the team don't necessarily play the other number three. It's high level yes, stuff in the T2 three. cavern. So it's match point now for Mizutani in the kill zone. Let's fall three. And even if he wins this though, he does lose three sets to two. Bad miss from Mitsutani, did too much with the ball. Didn't give himself enough space here, as we'll see. Arm really close to the body. Look oh, at the anguish oh. on his face there. He knows how important that was. So here it is. Here's the final point of the match. Congratulates Jun Mizutani as well, though. But how wonderful did he play in that match? He had to change rackets. I don't think anyone told Shabayev that that racket's different. What an unbelievable match we had there. Look at the crowd in the background. The crowd absolutely loved it. Ooze and as filling the film studio. I think that racket will be on eBay. It sold for about £10,000 tonight. Wow, he's played so well. <laughs> The other racket will be in the bin after that. So there we go. 
confirmation for us and a, an incredible win really for Alexander Shabayev. He's the number three player and winning 5-4 in that kill zone to win it four sets to one. Look at that though, 15 forehand winners for Shabayev. And points won on service, 60% to Mitsutani's 38%. Little bit underwhelming for the Japanese player. A lot of you guys at home would have expected the result to go the other way, I think. Shibai have really stood up to the table for his team there. Again, some cracking highlights for us all to enjoy. Shabayev almost back in another film studio. <laughs> and look how this last rally progressed. It was wonderful from Shabayev. Two fists, four games.